What's going on, people? A lot of people are talking about the divorce of Cardi B and Offset on the internet. Now, this is the perfect opportunity for a lot of bitter black females to bash black men. I've seen videos where black females were saying that once a cheater, always a cheater, and just, just dragging black men in the mud. Because now you're putting us all in that same category. There's a verse in the Bible that says, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. Not she that finds a husband, but he that finds a wife and the reason why so many relationships and marriages are not working is because of the fact that you have females out there that's looking for husbands instead of allowing the husband to look for them. Now, I've heard some females say Cardi B's got a lot of money and she's got more money than he do. Well, that right there tells a story because... In this era that we're living in, there are so many dudes, black and white, that get with a woman that's got money, that's got her own home, that's got her own vehicle, and he leeches off of her. He moves in with her and her children, and he play house with her. He play being the man without really having the responsibility of being a man. Now, a lot of y'all are wondering why men cheat, especially within the so-called black community. Well, one of the primary reasons that men cheat, first of all, is like I initially mentioned, is that he that finds a wife finds a good thing. Now, it's quite flattering when a woman makes a move on a guy. It's flattering. But... Don't expect that guy to be faithful to you because he did not have the initial interest in you, but yet you had the initial interest in him. So now you set yourself up to be used by that man. He may not have been attracted to you or interested in you, but because of the fact that you made that move and you look halfway decent, and a lot of y'all do look good. So his heart is not into you from the very giddy up. So do you expect him to be loyal to you? He didn't ha really have to work for you. In this day and time, men do not have to work for women. Women seek him out because women now or females are more thirsty than they say men are. There's a lot of thirsty and sex starved females out there. And they're putting themselves in position to be used, to be abused. And then after he's done with you, after he used you up, then now he's out of the picture. Another reason why a lot of men cheat and leave these females is because you're too needy. You're too needy and you, you stick to him like glue. I've seen situations, man, where females had her arm interlocked with the dude. The dude didn't really have no room to breathe because every time he went to move, she was right there. She had to be a part of him. She had his arm looped up where he couldn't move. He's walking down the street. She's got to hold his hand, you know, or she's laying across his lap. That's good for a time. But then you have to give that man some air to breathe. And a lot of these dudes can't breathe. You know, the minute he leave you, now you're texting him. Where you at? What you're doing? When you're coming home? You know, and the dude is like, then he gets to the point where he just put his phone. Um, he just turn his phone off or he ignore your phone calls or ignore your texts. Right. But I can get more into this and I'll probably get deeper into to this in another video because I got too many people around me. Um, and I like being in a place, man, where um, I'm undisturbed. You know what I mean? So, but when it comes to Cardi B and this dude Offset, and if you really think about it, just his name alone, Offset, 
that right there is a hint telling you that he don't have it all, man. He's offset, right? So what more can you say? You can't expect somebody that's called offset to be loyal and dedicated to you because he's not even on his square. He's not even on point. He's offset. You know, so he's not all he's not all there. Right. And if he plays his cards right, she's going to end up paying him spousal support. Now, he's obligated for child support, but she's going to end up paying him spousal support because she makes the most money. But like I said, you have too many needy females out there and they're not giving dudes room enough to breathe. Every time he moves, she's there. She's got her arms interlocked with his and he gets tired of her. You know, she she wears out her welcome. There's too many females that wear out their welcome. And then you get to the point where dudes just don't want to be around you. He needs to breathe. You know, so... And I'll touch on this in another video when I talk about relationships and, and why men cheat. Because I have a whole list of reasons just sitting back observing and even experiences I had in relationships where me being a, a former player, you can, you can see just as clear as anything. I knew there were certain women I was with and I knew I could cheat on them. I just knew it because they were good women. Right. Don't get me wrong. They were good women. They did nothing wrong. Uh, very sweet. Uh, very loyal. But. Too much of anything. Is not good. See, you can you can have too much of a good time. Right. Too much of anything is not good. Right. And so. You will end up spoiling a guy. And once you get a spoiled dude on your hands, ladies. Once you get a spoiled dude on your hands, you in for a ride of your life. He's going to hurt your feelings. And then after everything is done, you're going to be like, I did this for you. I did this for you. And I helped you get through school. And I helped you do this. And I bought you a car. And I did this. That's the reason why. Because you opened the doors to be abused. So in essence, you, you abused yourself. You forgot what it's like to be a lady. See, there's a difference between a female, a woman, and the lady. I might title my next video that. The female, the woman, and the lady. See, so you forgot how to be a lady. You forgot how to carry yourself as a lady. And as a matter of fact, for those of you out there that, that, that call yourself bisexual, and you've been in relationships with a woman. I don't care if you were in college and you were just uh, exploring or trying something new and you, you decided that's not for you. The point is you still opened your spirit up for that, for that energy. You still uh, exposed your, your spirit to that demonic energy, right? And then you wonder down the line when you end up deciding to settle down and get married, you wonder why your marriage don't work. It's not the fact that once a cheater, always a cheater. You have to look at the whole essence of things, man, the whole energy of things, you know, uh, not just the fact that he cheated on you or not just the fact that you've been a good woman and you've been loyal and you gave him all these things and you did everything you thought you were doing to keep him. It's a spiritual thing. Marriage is spiritual. I don't care how you try to separate the natural from the spiritual. It's spiritual. I don't care what you say you believe in, you don't believe in. It's spiritual. It's a spiritual union. He that finds a wife finds a good thing. So not she that finds a man. Because if she goes out looking for the man, it's not going to last. It's not going to work. He's going to cheat on you. He's going to abuse you. He's not going to respect you because you, you took on the role of the man. You refuse to submit yourself as a lady or you refuse to carry yourself as a lady. So even though you get that man and you feel that you're in love with that man, 
he's not going to respect you as a lady. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, and listen. Maybe I might do a series on relationships and why men cheat versus why women cheat. And that's another thing, too. Women talk about men cheating, but you never really hear about a woman talking about a woman cheating. You know, she have all of these rules and guidelines for men to follow. But yet when a woman cheat, it's justified. Well, he must have did something to make her cheat. You said once a cheater, always a cheater. So does that that same rule apply to women? So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.